And the search continues after a man drowned in the Prairie Creek Marina off Beaver Lake. Now, 5 News reporter Jose Carranza tells us what officials are doing during their search and why it's putting safety on people's minds. Officials say they began their search at 2 a.m. on Sunday morning after a Hispanic man had drowned at the Prairie Creek Marina Saturday night. So far, they haven't identified the victim. A boat had other passengers on it. They'd been out enjoying the lake and riding around, and apparently one of them had gotten sick and fallen over. Benton County Chief Deputy Meyer Gilbert says the boat's driver told them where the man fell in. The sheriff's office then split the area into quadrants and began searching with sonar equipment for potential targets. Once they find a target, they can send in the dive team to investigate, hoping to find answers. But so far, they found nothing. We have not gotten an image so far that we're, we're wanting to dive on. That's been on my mind all day long, you know, just wondering if they found him and uh, just what's going on. And obviously, we come back in and we still see the boats out there. We were really hoping that we'd see a different scene on our way back in. Fort Smith resident Cindy Watkins says she came to enjoy boating with a friend. It was her first time at the lake in more than 15 years. With the search and police presence, she says she's keeping safety in mind. We have our life jackets plus floaters and we just make sure we're keeping an eye out for other boats and watching for you know, swimmers and things like that. Officials say they hope to find the man soon. They'll continue their search from sunrise to sunset until they do. It breaks my heart to have to see all this out here, and I really, really hope that they find them. Covering news where you live, Jose Carranza, 5 News. All right, thank you, Jose. Officials tell 5 News that they wrapped up today's search, and they say they will return tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. And for any boaters or swimmers, officials are asking you to stay away from the area as any waves could interrupt their sonar technology.